Hi guys, it's Janine. Today is Friday, May 27th, and I'm here for a weigh-in and an update. Last week, I weighed 259.6, and this morning I weighed 255.2. So I am down 4.4 pounds this past week, and I'm thrilled with that number. Um, you know, again, this is not going to be the norm. I'm not going to have results this fantastic every week. But you know, it's only week three for me, and I'm loving it. Um, I've never been able to lose weight this effortlessly. It's just come off. Um, the only thing I'm doing is cutting my carbs down. I had, like for example, yesterday, I had a Whopper, and I just took the bottom bun off, and I only ate half the Whopper, so I only ate a quarter of the bun. And it was just as good as eating a whole one, you know, with the whole bun. Um, so I'm not, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm not neglecting my wants or cravings. Um, I'm eating everything I want. Um, pasta, I've been staying away from except. I went to the website called Nutrition and I bought four boxes of Dreamfields pasta. I had some yesterday. It tastes exactly like real pasta. Um, there's no difference. So it has protected carbs in it, which means the carbs just pass through you and I was in love. So I only had um, half a cup of it yesterday. I'm gonna eat it sparingly. I'm not gonna, you know, make it meals and meals for me. I'm still gonna keep my diet to majority of it being protein. Um, and I hate to say it, but high fat um, because I have the duodenal switch and we malabsorb fat. So if I keep it high fat, that lowers my calorie intake. Um, so my diet is still going to be, <clears throat> excuse me, high protein, high fat, low carb, and I've been doing this now for three weeks, and I've lost 13.8 pounds um, in three weeks. For a revision patient and for a girl, that is fantastic. So I'm absolutely thrilled. Um, I love the results that I'm getting. And I hope it continues like this. So, you know, I'm just thrilled. I saw, um, I saw Dr. Pomp this past week and uh, this past Wednesday. And the first thing he said to me when he came in the room was, you're melting away. And I was like, that just made my day. That made my day. I was thrilled. Because the first time I saw him, I was 316 pounds and now I'm 255. So, you know, that's 60-something pounds less, and I, I just, I was thrilled. I was, it was wonderful. And um, he checked out my wound, he checked out my incision, which, by the way, doesn't hurt at all anymore. Um, but he checked it out, and it's a little over three centimeters deep, so it's getting better. It was four centimeters deep, now it's three. And it's healing this way. It's getting narrower. It's still very deep, but it's getting narrower. So it's good. Any way it's healing is going to be good. Um, he did order another two weeks of wound care. So that's going to add up to a little over three weeks of wound care, which in co-payments alone, just co-payments, it's going to cost me well over 800 close to $900 just to have wound care. Um, you know, like I mentioned in my last video, yes, I can afford it, but it's something I'm going to have to pay off in installments. Um, I will not be able to just cut a check for 900 bucks and send it to the wound care place. I'm going to have to pay in installments um, because that's a lot of money. So, you know... I, you know, I am not rich. <laughs> I am not rich by any means. So, we'll see. 
um, you know, hopefully they accept some sort of payment plan, and I'm sure they do, and, you know, I'll cut it into four payments or something like that and take care of it that way, and I'm sure that'll be fine with them. I, I seriously doubt they're going to give me a hard time. Um, I'm taking all my vitamins. It's been 11 days. Where's my vitamin thing? I'm on day 11, and I already took my morning dose. Um, I still got noon, evening, and night. And I'm doing really good with my vitamins. I found out that um, my loose stool is almost completely cured by my iron supplement in the morning. As long as I take my iron in the morning, I'm fairly solid the rest of the day. I know this is gross and I'm sorry I'm talking about it, but if you have the duodenal switch, you'll understand that this is a very um, important tip to have in your arsenal um, to take your iron. It really helps with the loose stool that you get from all the malabsorption. So the iron has been a godsend and I am taking it religiously. I'm, I don't need to worry about, you know, oh my god is there a bathroom there and um, I don't need to take a modium before I go any place to make sure that I don't have issues. So, it's been fantastic. Um, I am not allowed to exercise except mild walking. And that's because my wound goes into my muscle. Um, a little bit of my muscle is ripped from the incision. So, I'm not allowed to go on the elliptical machine. I'm not allowed to go on a stair stepper. I can't do any sort of weightlifting. Um, I can't do sit ups, you know, nothing like that. The best I can do is walking. And I haven't, I'm got, not going to lie to you, total confession, I haven't done any exercise at all in the past three weeks. Mostly because the past, I'd say, 18 out of the 21 days that have passed, I've been in severe pain. Uh, from the incision and um, I haven't wanted to but the last four days that I've been okay I could have done something but I did not I chose not to and that's a bad choice um, I could be doing something and making it a little more healthy but I'm just not doing it um, so I'm gonna see if I can get myself into going for a walk um, or going to the gym and stepping on the treadmill. Um, we'll see. So, hopefully I'll have some motivation to do that. That's it, guys. So, um, I just wanted to say thank you again for all the comments that I get. Really appreciate it. And, um, you know, all my new subscribers, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Um, it makes it worth it for me to make these videos when I know that I could possibly be helping someone else. Um, and it's so much more comforting to know that you're not going through this alone. Um, because, you know, everybody, almost everybody that I've spoken to in regards to weight loss surgery says the phrase, oh, I know many friends who've had weight loss surgery. Well, I don't know one person who's had weight loss surgery, except my weight loss surgery friends, my duodenal switch friends from New York, um, that we get together and have a little, you know, shindig a couple times a year. Aside from those people, there is nobody in my life that has had weight loss surgery. I'm it. So, you know, I, I go through periods where I feel very alone because there is no one for me to call and talk to about the restriction of my stomach or my malabsorption issues or my vitamins that, you know, are a pain in the butt to take a million times a day. So it helps me so much to come on YouTube and see your videos and know that I'm not alone. It really helps. So that's it guys, I'm done rambling. I love you to death. Please take care of yourselves and I will talk to you next week. Bye.